Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this React.js video tutorial, we will learn about the recoil library. So this is introduced by the Facebook and this is a state management library. And uh, if you are working with React from a while, then you must know about the Redux. And you can say that this is the replacement of the Redux in the future because this library is made by the Facebook and React is also a product of the Facebook and Redux is not going not belong to the Facebook and this is more easier and more powerful than the recoil right so in this video I'm not, not going to tell you about a deep dive of the recoil but yes I will tell you the basics uh, example and you can see that you will just know about uh, you will get to know about the recoil at uh, intermediate level all right so first of all let's check out the points that we are going to do in this video then i will just come to the diagram and then we will make an example so these are the points that we have to do in this video we will make some component or uh, at least one component we needed uh, but i will just uh, break the code in the different different components so that you can see that how we can interact between the uh, many components with the recoil then uh, we have to make an uh, atom this is an, an atom and then we have to make a selector we will see how we can use the atom and uh, selector and then we will test it all right so if you just uh, know about a little bit of redux then you you will uh, know that there is a action and reducer these are the major uh, part or major tool of the redux you can say that and their atom and the selector are the major, major tool of this library all right so you can see that if we have the many components atom can directly interact with each other all right so atom can send the data to the item uh, component can send the data to the atom but what is the atom here atom can be easily access the data of any component all right and this is very easy to use i will show you that how we can use it so let's say if you have the four or five components then you can uh, just uh, send the data uh, these component to the atom easily and then atom can interact to the other component and it can directly interact with the selector right so now maybe you have one question that if atom can be interact with the all items then why we need to the selector right the reason is that when you just using the uh, one more than one component with the atom then you can change or update the data of the item but after when the when the data is go in the selector you cannot change it all right so if you just want to put some data that is you don't want to change or you just want to make some constant data and all then you can just uh, uh, generate a selector from them all right so now let's see how we can use them but before that we have to install the recoil library all right so just open the command line and just write here npm install uh, we have to okay npm install and just write here recoil and just hit the enter so with the time this is just installing so let's go in the app.js and here we are just going to make the whole code so just remove this unwanted code and I am just going to make a h1 tag and just write here care uh, counter right perfect so now let's check out the output here you can see that that's great and this is installed now so first of all we have to just import some uh, we have to import some important components so just write here import something from recoil and we have to just uh, get the recoil root then atom then selector and we need to just get the two more things one is uh, use recoil state and uh, we will see use uh, mm -mm -mm, use recoil value all right that's all so we need these five items to making a simple functionality so after that I am just going to make a function and I am just going to put the name like uh, 
care counter or whatever just want to make and just return uh, let's make a div here and inside a div we can just make a input box like this right and uh, just import it here just right here uh, what is that care counter mm. I don't know why this is okay that's my bad I just forget to use the parenthesis so now we can just simply use it like this that's great okay so after that uh, we have to wrap the old components that we just want to use the recoil state management all right so just copy it and just write here recoil root and we can just use it like this that's great so we got a component here and here you can see that we are able to type something here so why now I need an atom so what actually atom will be do atom will get the data from this input box and able to send anywhere in our application right so now let's see how we can just get the data from this component and send to the another one so just make a const here and we can just write here care atom and uh, from the atom we have to pass a object and in the object we have to make the two uh, key and value pair one is the name of uh, this key so it can be like care state or whatever you just want to put put care state we can put here and we can also put some default value so for a default value for a moment i'm just going to put here zero all right and i will show you that how we can use it and how we can change the default value also all right so now we just want to use this uh, atom with this text box all right because we need the text box value inside the atom so now let's uh, make a const here and inside the const let's make make a text and set text uh, very similar to the making a state of the react right so just use here use recoil state and here I'm just going to put here care atom perfect and now you can just use this uh, text norm uh, simply here right just make it small one like this so now you will find that this value is zero okay uh, if I'm just going to change it with the default value like hello then you will find this is updated here fine okay so we can make it zero again now what I'm just going to do uh, let's use the on change event and as you know we can just uh, make it as an event it so just use it uh, set text and now set text the part of uh, use recoil state so that it, it can easily update the atom right so just put here e dot target dot value okay and now let's try to add something here like hello now you can see that the atom is updating here that's great so now let's uh, split this component to the two components and just remove this set text from here and make one more component like this and here you can see that uh, get counter get care counter or whatever just want to make right and now choose this get care, care counter here awesome and uh, we don't need this set text so we can just remove it and uh, let's write here h2 tag or anything else so that we can just show here text okay so just write here hello and you are able to get the value here so we are able to break the code in the two components and atom is uh, able to send the data from uh, get the data from the care value and send the data in the uh, get care value all right so 
you can just write here get care value so this is more sensible perfect okay so after that now uh, we are able to see that how actually uh, atom work but how selectors work for that we have to make a selector all right so now let's take a const you can use the con selector here or anywhere whatever you just want to use so just use here uh, care counter um, selector you can make it like this select or uh, just use a selector here and selector is a function which accept the object and it also have the two key value pair one is key and in the key you can put any key so let's take the same like uh, care selector or whatever care counter selector that's fine and now the second key is get and uh, in the get this is actually a arrow function so just use this arrow function like this um Uh, arrow function which is just accepting the object right and uh, we can pass any parameter like if we are getting the value so that we can put the get and uh, make a const which have the data and the data can have a uh, get what we want to get we want to get the value of the atom so our atom name is care atom all right so now let's get the value of it and we can just return like uh, data dot length why i'm just going to return length because value we are already getting so i just want to count the characters all right so that's why i just do it so our care counter selector is also ready so now in a uh, get character value i can just make one more h3 uh, tag here and just simply use here uh, recoil value so just right here use recoil value and we can pass the data here simply like okay we have to use jsx brackets so just use here use uh, selector value and pass the selector here right so now if i'm just going to put here mm, this is not working let me check Mm -hmm. yep i misspell the length here so now just come back here and it's right here hello and this is working fine so uh, recoil recoil uh, okay i just forgot the spell all right recoil tilt and this is counting the character and as well as you can see that the data is also here so if you just want to break the uh, selector in the more component then you can also do it easily you can just take the this at three tag in another one and you are able to break it in the more small components so that's all if you still have any kind of confusion then you can ask me in the comment box in the upcoming videos i will just make a step by step tutorials for the recoil and the react where i will make around six to seven videos and uh, you i will make a complete video on a different topic on a selector on an atom and uh, use recoil value and uh, uh, use recoil state and all right so don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care